Hi, I'm Mike, and today I'll be talking about the CSS overflow property. So uh, to get started, I've got this HTML file, and this is linked to this uh, CSS file here. And in this HTML file, I'm going to make a div, and we're going to put uh, quite a bit of text in here. We'll do like, what? can I even do a thousand words of text? Yeah, look at all that. That is a lot. So if I were to squish this down uh, to say a width of 300 pixels and a height of 400 pixels, uh, we've just got this massive amount of text, right? Uh, and it's overflowing out of this container. This is definitely not 400 pixels tall, right? Uh, so if I go up to the top, I inspect, and I look at it, you can see this box here is all that the text should be, uh, and then everything else outside of it, all of this down here, is all overflow. Uh, and so CSS with the overflow property lets us do a couple of things. So by default, uh, this is set to visible. Uh, so you can see that if I change that, nothing happens. It's just uh, all visible. Uh, but there are a few other things we can have. We can set it to hidden. And this hides all the overflow. Uh, you can see that there would be text down there, and there's not, now that we've sort of truncated it with this or, uh, hidden property. Uh, but another thing that you can do that is really useful is if we scroll. Uh, so you can see that now there's a scroll bar, and we can scroll and see all this text. And yet it is still contained by that 300 by 400 uh, constraint. And then the last uh, property that we have is auto. And uh, you might be saying that this is very similar to scroll, and that it is. Uh, but you can see that this bottom scroll bar is gone. And the reason why is because, uh, well, scroll will always have scroll bars. Uh, auto will not have scroll bars if they're not necessary. Uh, so you can see if I set it to auto and then I get rid of some of this text, uh, we can just say get rid of this much. This should be enough. Since it's not longer than 400 pixels, uh, if I were to set this to scroll, those scroll bars would still be there, and uh, they're kind of pointless, but you can get rid of that with the auto property. Uh, but yeah, let's go back to uh, the whole amount of text. Another way that you could do this this auto thing where uh, there's no X scroll bar, but there's a Y scroll bar, is if you were to break this into two properties. Uh, so we can do overflow X, and we can say uh, hidden, but then we can have uh, overflow Y be scroll. And you can see now that we just have that scroll bar this way, uh, and there's no X scroll bar. So yeah, that's all I've got for you for uh, the overflow property with CSS. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please do leave a like or a comment down below. Uh, and just have a great day. Thanks for watching.